Put down that controller or mouse, Carpal Tunnel can wait. It's time for more Gamer Hour with me, your host, Chris Puckett. Welcome back, everybody, to Reuters Studio here in Times Square, New York City. In tonight's show, I throw some interceptions. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. It really is. <laughs> He's going for it. My guest gets bold with his onside kick. And together, we see who can put in their two-point conversion. No. But before you get to see that gridiron gridlock, we got to talk about the hottest news in the gaming industry. Kevin Durant, yeah, that KD, has joined the list of professional athletes hopping aboard the esports train. Yeah, that's right. The superstar forward from the Brooklyn Nets has invested and partnered with New York-based esports org, Andbox. Andbox owns several esports teams and properties, including the Call of Duty League's New York Subliners, the Overwatch League's NYXL, and in Valorant, they've got their team, Andbox. Now, Durant, being an avid gamer himself, is excited to get behind the Ambox brand and support their tournaments and custom merchandise. Let's just hope his first collab looks better than his shoes. Sorry, buddy. Those just aren't Jordans. <laughs> a new map leak for Call of Duty Cold War surfaced last week, and it's a good leak, ladies and gentlemen. A screenshot of the map reveals its revised version of a fan favorite zoo from Black Ops 1. Now, the zoo map will be made for Cold War's fire team mode, and what's even better, the Cold War fire team maps are going to be stitched together to make a giant map that will replace Verdansk and Warzone. It's about time, Activision. I was getting so tired of dropping into Superstore, getting destroyed by campers and corners. Now, I can drop into zoo and get mauled by a lion. <laughs> Which is a little bit better than a camper. I mean, at least the lion has dignity, right? It's official, ladies and gentlemen, the PS5 is the fastest selling console in US history. Now, technically, the Nintendo Switch still holds the title for most consoles sold in the States, but the PS5 sets the record when comparing total dollar sales after four months in the market. Meanwhile, Xbox, they're just trying to figure out how to get their controllers to work again. <laughs> A fire in France destroyed about 30 servers for the game Rust. Yeah, I'm not making this up. A fire burned down an entire building and with it, data centers with Rust servers. It's speculated that the fire was caused by a battery backup that went haywire. Now the good news, no one was seriously harmed. The bad news, those servers are gone forever. And with it, about eight years worth of progress in the game. Now look, I feel your pain. When I played Candy Crush and my phone died, I lost all my cotton candy and gumdrops. It's pretty much the same thing, and I went through it. I got over it. So can you. <laughs> I got good news and bad news, ladies and gentlemen. Which one do you want to hear first from the Halo side? All right, bad news it is. So in the new Halo Infinite, you won't be able to dual wield anymore or play as an elite. I know, but the good news, you can kick enemies off the Halo ring into space like a Spartan. No, not like a Halo Spartan, but like Leonidas in 300 when he kicked that Persian dude into the pit. <laughs> can you imagine? This is Halo. <sighs> Long pass for that one. Now, 343 is working hard on the game's mechanics with real-time day and night effects, as well as cool features like grab looks all set in a semi-open world. Semi-open? I mean, come on, it's either open or it's not. You're either pregnant or you're not. You can't be semi-pregnant. <laughs> so what is it? After I walk a certain distance, an invisible wall stops me mid-stride and I'm reverted back to the main mission? I hope not, 343. I want to collect every Halo Skull there is. Even if I got to grapple all the way to the top of that mountain, I'm doing it. <laughs> Crisis Remastered got a new update, as if this game needed a new update. I mean, it already looks amazing. This is the game that pushed all gaming rigs to their limits back in the day, and now it's getting yet another increase in performance and visual fidelity through NVIDIA DLSS AI upscaling technology. I don't know what any of that means. All I know is if the game looks any more realistic, then I'm not just getting screen tearing, I'm about to get retina tearing. <laughs> 
You can grab Metro 2033 for free on Steam, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, right now. Go get it for free. And while you're at it, Metro Exodus is on there for 66% off. I don't know why you do that, though, because I just came out of a wintry, apocalyptic New York City a few months ago, and I'm good, man. I'm ready to go play something like Dead Island. At least there it's set in summer. <laughs> Our guest tonight comes from a place where it's summer pretty much year round from Florida, the running back of the Tennessee Titans. Please give a warm welcome to number 32, Darrington Evans. Darrington, super excited to have you on the show. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Well, we can't start this interview off without asking, how does it feel to be a part of this scariest backfields in the NFL? No one wants to play the Titans. Yeah, man. It's amazing, you know, working with, you know, Derek. He's been the back-to-back -back Russian champ, ran for 2K this year. Uh, learning from him has definitely been a blessing uh, so far, and I can't wait to, you know, keep going and keep chopping at it with him. You've got some nutty moves of your own. When I was playing dodgeball, I was always the last one picked and the first one knocked out. But what agility tips could you give me? How do I up my dodgeball game? You know, it really just comes with time and effort, you know. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff since I was, you know, really young. Uh, I had an older brother. He played football. So I was doing everything he was doing probably at age five, six, trying to do what he was doing when he was 12 and 11. So, you know, I kind of had a little bit of a head start and just kind of showing up. Double your age, and you're trying to lift the same weights. I like that style. Do you have a favorite drill in the gym or a favorite exercise? Uh, not exactly. Just anything explosive. Uh, I do a lot of workouts in like a sand pit or like beach workouts. Um, it's kind of harder to run around and move, so you really got to like focus in on what you're doing. Well, all that work has definitely paid off. You got your first touchdown in December. We all saw it live, but in the moment. I was a little worried for you. Did you ever think for a second, oh, man, I might drop this thing? Nah, see, not at all. I actually expected the ball to be, like, overhead, but it was, you know, he just kind of lollipopped it to me. And that's, <laughs> just that's, hit that's you in the, the chest with it. Off guard. How did you celebrate that night? Uh, I really didn't. Just went to sleep. That's it. Just went to sleep. Got ready for the next day. Okay, well, it's pretty apparent that you're a proud Sunbelt fan. Uh, if anyone has seen your Twitter feed, we've seen you celebrating, especially during the big basketball win. Tell me about App State. Do you always get this fired up for the game? Let's go! Hey, hey, look. Them boys did it, man. Them boys. Man, we want to get outside. Look at it. App State! Let's go, man. Well, so you see what that say? App State Mountaineers Sun Belt Champs. Man, you already know what time it is, man. Yeah, man, it's amazing to see them, you know, make it to the big dance. It's been 21 years since they've done it, and then 21 years before that. Um, this is the first time they've done it since I've been there. Well, since I went to school, I uh, got there in 2016. So, you know, I'm a proud App State fan. Try and carry that on my chest every day. Now, you were in school during 2016. I was in school in 2006. But back in my day, we were all playing Halo 2. We'd all crowd into the same dorm room and try and get our 50s. What game were you guys playing back in the dorms? Man, all the time. Madden, for sure. You can't, you can't tell anybody you're the best Madden player on the team. And then uh, probably it turned into a little bit of FIFA, too. Me and a couple of guys on the team, we play a lot of FIFA, so we have a little bit of say-so about that. Well, you got some special talent in your bloodline, especially when it comes to gaming. Tell me a little bit about this ringer you brought onto campus. Yeah, man. You know, it's it's. I brought my cousin uh, Clef the God up. Uh, he came to one of our games during the season. You know, he's an esports gamer. Um, you know, he wins a lot of Madden tournaments and stuff, and he does his thing. Uh, yeah, he played a lot of my teammates. They were like, man, he can't be that good. He can't be that good. He was winning about 21 probably within two or three minutes of the first game, Oof. like in the first quarter. And Bring then ever since then, everybody's player. been a fan of him and following him on Twitch and stuff. So, yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely what he is. I love that. So you got Clef as a pro player in the family, but have you ever beaten the man one-on-one? -on -one? No, never. <laughs> never. How would he handle you in a game of hamburger on the field? On the field, you know, 
It, it'd be pretty close. He played ball too. He played ball too. It'd been pretty close. Okay. Well, you grew up playing FIFA. You definitely got a lot of Madden in the family. But what games are you playing today? Uh, you know, I mainly play 2K, a little bit of 2K and Warzone. That's kind of my main niche right now. Uh, I play in the park on 2K. A lot of people, they, they follow me just because of that. Um, I got the verification on there. So they try and come play me, think they're going to win. I end up dropping 15 points on them, getting them off the court. And then on Warzone, I, I play a lot of Warzone, just dropped 17. I think that was my new PR since I got it on PC. Growing up, you were a PlayStation guy. You were really into Grand Theft Auto. And apparently Rockstar is working on a Grand Theft Auto 6. What yeah. do you want to see added, if anything, new to the game? Oh, man, you know, they've done such a great job with Grand Theft Auto 5. I would just like to see them integrate, like, how they have the new RP. Just instead of having it only on PC, have it on, like, game consoles, next gen. I feel like that'd be, like, the next big move for them. Well, before we turn on the cameras, you and I were talking about games we want to see come back. You said you want to see college football once again. Why is everyone so hyped about NCAA football? Why is it better than Madden? Man, that was like the one game just growing up. You're like, yo, I can't wait to be on this game. So, like, honestly, I would do – I would play Road to Glory on college football. And, like, that's how I would work out when I was younger. So, like, every time I would score, every time the other team would score, every time the quarter would change or the game starts or ends, I'd do 10 push-ups. So, by the end of the day, I've done maybe five to 600 push-ups. Not even Ooh. knowing. Yeah. You got boot camp, boot camp NCAA going on there. I like that. Well, we always talk to our community and we give them an opportunity to ask questions to our guests. Our first question comes from Skittle Galore 67 who wants to know, what was the feeling when you heard your name being called and realized you are officially a Tennessee Titan? Man, it was crazy. I really didn't know what to think at the time because, uh, you know, with the pandemic, it made it a little bit different not being able to, you know, actually get the full experience of everything. But just in reality, like I was in, wow, I, it didn't really hit me until like we got to training camp. And then that was when I was like, man, I'm really in the NFL right now. What was that moment? Was it seeing your locker, putting on the jersey? When did it just sink in? Yeah, really just like my first workout, just, you know, being in the locker room, changing everything, getting in the weight room, just like, man, like. This is an NFL facility. Like, all right, yeah, it's time to lock in right now. It's next level for sure. Now, this next question is all about food. Not so happy. Gilmore wants to know where to eat. First question, where do I find the best spicy hot chicken in Tennessee? Spicy hot chicken? I'm not sure. I'm not a spicy guy. But um, a couple of spots I've gotten wings from up here has been Rockies, And then I've been to Martin's Barbecue a little bit. But other than that, those are the only two I've actually been to. What about best cornbread? Cornbread, I'm not sure. You know, I know I'm going to do that at home. You know, call back home, ask my mom a couple of things, and she gets me right on that. Homegrown cornbread, number one. And final question here from Not So Happy Gilmore. Best barbecue in Tennessee. I know you haven't been there too long, but have you found a good spot yet? I haven't heard. I haven't got to the spot personally, but I've heard some teammates talk about it. It was a, I think it's like a Memphis spot up here. Like a guy from Memphis came up here and has his own shop and stuff. So I, I definitely got to check that out. And if I get the name, I'll probably tweet it out or something. YouTube, put it in the comments right now. I need to know where to eat that barbecue. Neon Lights forty nine twenty three wants to know why should I go to Appalachian State? I know you're a fan of your former school. Why should we go there? Man, it's just different. It's it's crazy because you know me being from Florida. Going from the beach to the mountains, I was like, I would never go here. Like when they first offered me, I was like, who is App State? But then like once I took my official visit and got up there and then just like saw everything, it was just different. I don't know what it was. And then just like every day I would wake up and I'd be like, man, I'm really in the mountains right now. Like you literally see the clouds like above your dorm, like literally touching your dorm. Like it's, it's amazing and it's just beautiful up there. What's tougher to work out in, the sand in Florida or the clouds up there at App State? Definitely App State because you're you're elevated, so it's it's way harder to breathe. It's way harder to breathe. Waffle Cakes wants to know, Darrington, what's your why? My why, you know, I just want to be successful. You know, make a name and then do whatever I can just to provide and do everything for my family and stuff. I see you tweeting that. What is that question all about? You know, just every day, just trying to find a way to motivate people. You know, everybody has their days where you roll over. You don't really want to do too much, but at the same time, you've got to do something. So whenever you get into one of those down moments, just think about why you're doing it, why you're where you're at. Kind of motivate you. I love that. And where do you see yourself in 10 years is the final question. 10 years? 
either still playing football or owning a business, doing something. I ain't really, I ain't really locked in exactly on what that is, but I've been, in, you know, kind of dabbling into a little bit of things this offseason, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Still playing football. Well, that is the same thing for tonight because coming up next, you're taking me on in yeah. a game of Madden. Strap on that headset. Get your helmet ready. It's game time. All right, Darrington, how's your run game in Madden, man? Uh, you know, it's not the best. You know, I'm more of a thrower, but at the same time, I'm going to try and open it up some today. Okay, well, I've been playing a lot of shooters lately, especially Valorant, but I feel like after my third interception, I'm going to be warmed up, ready to drop some dimes. You ready to do that deep coverage? Yeah, you know, I'm always ready to get interceptions, man. Need that. All right, before kickoff, our producer has presented us with a challenge. The official challenge for episode 20 is for you to outscore me by 14 points playing as yourself. Really, Travis? 14 points? That's no faith in me, man. I got this. Derek, seriously, I'm with though, that. if you outscore me by 14 points, you win the game. But if I hold on, if I beat you, if I tie or even lose by 13, I still get the W. You heard that correct. Oh, yeah. If I lose by 13 points, I get the W. This challenge doesn't seem fair, but I'm all about it. Thank you, Travis. Uh, Derek, <laughs> you think you can outscore this Pee Wee Lineman by 14? Yeah, I'm going to try and put up at least 21. At least 21. Okay, well, yeah. it's game time, baby. Let's do this. Van der Rege. I wish you run that. Maybe not. Oh, bad moves. Bad move. No! <laughs> I'm not even switching to him. I thought it would be better if I let the Sims play. First Terrible play. decision. First and I run, still, touchdown. And the thing is, I still got Derek in there. I got to put me in the game. I, got, I still oh. got Derek in there. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't count. That one didn't count. Hey, that guy's good. too I'm big. I'm still, still get it. <laughs> Oh, Madden, I love you so much. First, damn, I love, I mean, first play, I like it. Oh. Now, before you were in the league, who is your favorite running back to watch? Uh, I would definitely say Dalvin Cook. Cook? I, I like the way he plays, yeah. I don't like the way he plays against my Cowboys, I'll tell you that. <laughs> man drops 200 yards on us every time. Yeah, man, he's, he's one of a kind when it comes to it. This is a terrible throw. Come on, throw. come on. Terrible oh! throw. Oh! Got it. Oh, nice. Got a little lucky there. Got a little lucky. We'll take it. There it is. There it is. Make this catch, says the producer. Oh. I thought he would be dropping back. He didn't drop Let's back, okay? Play. Go. Don't worry, right. it's Madden. It's Madden. That's All right, enjoy that ball. Enjoy that ball. <laughs> I just wanted to play defense. Bad look. Yeah. I appreciate it, though. You knew it was coming. You still ran. Yeah. I might have gotten a flag. Thank you, Van Der Esch. Oh, you got money on me, Travis? That was a terrible idea. Oh, no. There you go. You're going to lose a lot of money today. You're going to lose a lot. I feel like just 32 has to cross the end zone at some point. Cross that goal line, rather. Woo! <laughs> He's got wiggles. Yeah, he's going to get in there. <laughs> Here we go. No! We had to read, just not the th thumbsticks, you know? No stick work. I actually got to work on my stick work on here. Get my movement down. I be feeling like I be running too stiff on here. Oh, oh he, he got the first. That's for sure. On this play right here, we getting in. Where's D Law at? We're all coming. There goes one. <laughs> There's one. He's in. He's in for one. one. He's in for one. Okay, I got to answer back. Let's see if I can complete a pass this offense. Hiking the ball, apparently. All right, let's go. Ooh. That's not good. That's not good, Zeke. At all. It's not good. It's not good. We didn't want that. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Come go, on Kenny. now. Uh, get go, up. Kenny. Oh, I should have played this game in the last decade. No, last time I played it was against Kendrick Bourne and he just abused me very much like this game. Let's see another play. I see you. I see you. Wow, that's crazy. It's a good drop. We're going good for drop. It. We're going Fourth for and it. five, going for it. I like your style. I think you can drop 50 today. If you really put your heart into it, I think you can do 50. My goal is to get 14. All right, T Hill, we're coming for you. Not really. Uh, oh my God. I thought I was a pig. I thought I was a pig. <laughs> Oh, wow, we just that far. Mm hmm. Oh, where are you going? There it is. Do you all jump it on your back? Be careful. It's a big man. You ever talk to uh, Roger Saffold? Yeah, I talked to him. He does a little bit on gaming, too. Yeah, man. He, he was one of the early investors in Rise Nation. Big fan of that man. He's doing no. it the right way. That's the hey, second one. Too. That's second. the second one. <laughs> I don't believe that. But I'm in for it. Oh, this man Zeke. Here we go. Oh, Oof. You ready for a gallop? Yep. He's coming for you. Interception, pick six. Now! <laughs> All right, we got our first. First completion, first completion. Here we go. Oh, that was good. Oh. You didn't see it coming. Oh, I missed it. Let's he go. saw it coming, I still didn't get there. Oh, smart play. Smart play. Woo. We needed one it... yard. We barely got it. All righty, though. You ready for some deep passes? I'm feeling, I'm feeling that number 88. You might catch it. Amari. We're closing in on the 50. Oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Oh, we're going all out. Oh, throw it. That was nice. That was nice. I see you. I don't know how I didn't see that coming. All right, second and 16. We're just gonna chip away at this. With- I'm whoop. right here. Filthy Schultz over the middle. Who's the biggest man on your team? Biggest as in? Largest human. Yo, you got, you got Derek, you got Jeff, you got Roger, you got Taylor LeJuan. Like, it depends on what kind of big you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Let's go to if uh, we put all of the Titans in a bar and there was a bar fight, who would come out as the undefeated champion? Man, uh, shoot. Oh, we should man. not say bar. Let me rephrase this. If this was the Royal Rumble, who would get the belt at the end of it all? That's, that's, it's tough because, you know, we got, a, we got a lot of dudes that are really... Side in them, so. mm -hmm. it, it's hard to pick one dude, but I ain't gonna lie. I just, I just feel like, oh, no! I, love, I, love. I was trying to distract you and it didn't work. Strip it, oh, strip. Oh, no, right. don't run, don't you run it back. That's a dory. That's oh. a dory. That's you a just, dory. You just take that one home with you if you want. <laughs> you can take that one home with you. I need Man, that right there. I can't believe I threw a pick six. Minute 23, minute 23, okay. Yeah. If you could just let me on that one yard line. Let me sit right around there. Oh, got it. I think you just missed, pressed like the middle thing on the uh, game, not the logo though. Oh, he broke him. No! Oh, Jayon, you gotta intercept it. I'm not falling apart here, I promise. I feel an interception coming. It's probably another pick six. Oh, no! I'm gonna come back to you. 
Oh, he's double covered. Zeke, you gotta walk away. Oh, just that. <laughs> you got nothing. You got put that put that away. Brown, drop that. He's too good. Just cover eleven. Let's just put uh, everyone on number eleven there. Oops. Forgot you had Humphreys. Forgot about that. I gotta get this one in. Ooh, hold, hold. Van Der Esch is not a cover linebacker normally, but we're gonna make him look good. Will I fumble? Will I fail? Nah, but this is a touchdown. Will we right hold here. strong? It's a touchdown right here. For me, pick six. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. You got nothing. Yeah. Oh! Oh, he's kicking it. Smart man. Okay. Just get getting the points. Miss it. I'm known for missing one. I ain't missed this one. That's good. That's good. All right. I'm only down 31 at the half. Yeah, you know you gotta you gotta go deep. You yeah. gotta go deep. Oh, you dropping everyone back? But Amari. No. What are you <laughs> deflecting? Malcolm, you gotta intercept that. Here we go. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Not far enough, young man. There she blows. Schultze. Okay. Eight yarder. This one's going the distance. Are you ready for an Amari Cooper touchdown? R1, yes, Schultz. Look out for number 21, he's, he's got speed. <laughs> there he is again, Jarwin this time. Tight ends for days, we're in the end zone. Who are you throwing it to? Just let me know ahead of time. Uh, I'm really wanting to get it to, to Corey. The way it's looking, I, I really want to. Cover Davis, cover Davis. No! no! He <laughs> dropped it! I'll be honest, I'm just nervous about that 22 with the big X underneath him. Ooh, Janu! Get some yards, get some yards, that's all we need. Third and four. Third and four, I'm dancing. Stop the big man! Uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to do. One on one in the hole couldn't stuff it. Especially one on one, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to stop 22. A little bit. What was going on with you guys when you went up to Green Bay? You got caught in a blizzard in that game. Was it, it was, tough to run on that snow? Yeah, it felt like sand out there. I ain't gonna say that's an excuse, but you know what I'm saying? It felt like sand out there for sure, and then it was just kind of hard to see too. Just in general. Mm hmm. I was watching from home, I was like, I am so happy to be inside right now. This looks terrible. <laughs> Do you have a favorite stadium to play in? Oh, Corey! Let's go, Wilson. Let's go. Where's that? That's our own stadium. Okay, gotcha. I don't know how he didn't catch that. He was like wide open. We'll take it, you know, I'm not complaining. Prescott, Prescott, 169. Now, Schultz with the speed. <laughs> All right, this is Amari time. Oakland didn't want you. Oakland didn't want you, baby. We'll take it. Oakland, I feel like, has done the worst management of any player roster. Outside of the lines. I have no comment on that. No comment. Is that you're a smart man? You're yeah, a smart I man. Mm-hmm. It looked like I'm stalling right now, yo. That was supposed to be a catch. It's almost like we swapped controllers with someone. Uh yes! Let's go, Zeke! Yeah, let's go, Jayon. Mm-hmm. Oh 
no, no, he threw it to they all one. Him. He had a TD. Flag. Next time, next time. They caught him. Oh. We'll accept. Yeah, yeah, we'll accept that one. Dak, 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 dak. Boom! Ugh. No pain, no gain. That's right. Eat him up. Eat him up, Zeke. Woo! I just about to get angry. No! Let's go, tight. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Oh, he no! He caught that. I can't believe he caught it. No way he knows what's coming. The sneak! You can't, you can't stop that. You can't stop that. You're just gonna run the ball a little bit now, right? You won't be going for these bombs. You won't be going for these bombs. There's the run. I've seen you Titans in the second half. I know what you do. Oh no. Oh no. Get the yes. first. Gotta get the first. He got stuffed. Fourth and one. Fourth and inches. You know where he's going. Bringing it in. Bringing it in. Clamp down. Clamp down. No. Wide open. <laughs> he finds the hole. I'm watching you, 22. I'm watching you. Swift feet, swift feet, fast ankles. He's wearing down his clock on me. Oh. Why don't you throw that Davis guy? Uh oh. Oh, big boy! Get him out. It's fumble time. Strip this man. Strip this. Nice! Good play. Great play. Yeah, I like this one. This is a good one. Zach Martin. Good blocking. No! No! With a chance to win the game and I throw it for an interception. That's a big hole. Oh, you gotta get Good stop. Good stop. Good stop. Pretty big up front. Uh oh, that's a huge hole for you this time. He's just gonna pound it in. He's just handing it to 32. Oh well, you can just bring it in. You can just bring it in. I'll just let you do that. You just, you just have that one. All right. I got it. Sin against my goal line. I'm gonna be real upset about this. No. You get nothing. There. <laughs> Come on. That's another one. That's another one. It really is. <laughs> He's going yeah. for it. No. Oh, yeah. Fat lineman dive. Yes. Okay. And to think your cousin Clef is even better than you at Madden. What a dangerous family. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Got that him. hurts. Oh. All right. There should be a, a towel you could wave in Madden so I don't have to watch Humphrey scoop on me. Going Minute for it. 10 left on the clock. Last time he ran it left. This time he's gonna run it left. Okay, we're oh. there. We're there this time. Whew. Okay, I'm five points away. What do I do? What do I do? This one's worth 40 points. <laughs> check 24. Check 24. Check. Check. Up over the middle. Oh. <laughs> Minute to go all the way. You think you can do it? I have no timeouts. I don't know. 
I'm covering Brown with a, a linebacker. This is gonna be fine. Get out. Get out. You did. What the blocks? Oh god. Oh god. Not like this. Yeah, oh, Nicks. Uh, Wilson. Wilson got to that. 19 seconds. Come on, hike it. He's going, Henry. Stop him on the line. No. Come on. I think it takes eight seconds. Oh, God. Oof. Good spike. Four seconds. No pressure. No pressure to get that fitty on me. Oh, man. This is my. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. Let's go, D. Let's go. Get the there it is. There it is. David, get in here. Darrington, you are the champ today. I even tried to bring in my own resident clef. This is David, our producer, and not even he could put up more than 13 on you. Congrats, buddy. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Well, you definitely accomplished the challenge tonight. How do you feel about your victory? Man, I feel good. You know, I said I was going to come in here and try and win by more than 21, and then I heard the challenge of going up by well, winning a game and hitting 50 points. So, no more was up for a challenge, and I wanted to hit that. I love it, man. You dropped a 50 bomb on me, and now I got to send you some pizza. You want to go again? You ready? Uh, another one? You, you sure you want to do that after that game? No, I don't. I absolutely <laughs> don't. But we're going next here now in review and rating. Darrington, it's that part of the show where we review Madden like we're professional sports broadcasters ourselves. I'll be Joe Buck. You be Troy Aikman. And as always, Troy likes to go off topic here. And Joe reels him back in and concludes with some oversimplified, generic throwaway thought that no one really cares about. So leave that part for me and feel free to wander. I'll let you go first. Yeah, you know, I would say some things I like about the game is, you know, the running abilities. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the stuff I would say on next gen on the PS5 version, I don't like the movement on there. It seems too robotic, too glitchy. But, you know, if they keep the gameplay how it is on current gen. You know, it's, it's pretty good. Great. We said there, Troy, if you feel like Madden 21 could range anywhere between 1 to 100, where would you rank it? Bearing in mind that weather changes could affect the play with huge factors entirely if the quarterback goes in or out of the pocket. Yeah, I would keep it about an 80. Uh, I wouldn't overly rank it say i'm too high on it but at the same time i'm not too low about it all right that was my terrible sports broadcaster voice uh for me i mean madden is still a little slower than the other games in my library but the mechanics and graphics they continue to improve each year and the game it's got some serious depth with the ultimate team but honestly i just don't have time to keep buying more cards and updating my roster on a scale of touchbacks to touchdowns I'd give this game a good old fourth and goal. It's heart pounding with plays that only Madden himself could draw up. In the run game, it is tough, especially with you at the helm. But the passing game is cleaner than the previous titles. And the player stats are pretty well balanced, except for my Dallas Cowboys. I think we all can agree they need to be way higher than a 76. But when it comes to sports games, these are the only good ones, man. Madden and FIFA in my book, and that's an 85 on my scale. Darrington, thanks so much for coming on the show, man. And next time you come on, we need to bring your buddy Clef. I need backup next time we play Madden. Oh, most definitely, man. Thanks for having me. And I'll let Clef the God know about that so you can have someone for me to play. I love that, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, throw your hands in the air like you just don't care and get freaky for the five-foot titan himself, Darrington Evans. Man, getting destroyed by Darrington Evans has never been more exciting. You can watch more of Darrington's Madden and Call of Duty skills on display over on his Twitch streams. Those are at twitch.tv slash it's live with three E's. Also, be sure to follow number 32 on his social media. His Twitter and Instagram are both at it's live. It's that time of the show for me to go home and watch Cobra Kai. Yeah, I'm on the last episode of season three, so don't spoil it for me. I'm betting Johnny and Allie are getting back together. LaRusso is opening his dojo back up, and that crease is getting redemption. I could be so off on all of these. Who knows? While you're on Netflix, scroll over to that YouTube tab and watch this show. Yeah, no smart TV? 
No problem. Type in twitch.tv slash thegamerhour on your 27-inch Acer Predator to watch the show on there instead. Or go to our website, thegamerhour.com, while you're at it. No monitor? No big deal. Go check out our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook on your iPhone or Android device. No smartphone? Yeah, we got a problem. It's 2021, man. If you don't have a smartphone by now, toss your flip phone in the trash and stop living in the 90s, you degenerate. No, but seriously, get a smartphone and get some AirPods while you're at it. They come in handy when you're traveling and playing mobile games on the subway like Clash of Clans. <laughs> From Reuters Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Chris Puckett. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll go put it on fourth and goal, and I'll catch you next week for another episode of The Gamer Hour.